Hey everyone, it's Julianne Jones here with another video blog post for you. This week I want to talk about something new that I've discovered just this year. I've taught time management and planning for most of my career as a coach. And at the end of every year I do a program called Cracking the January Code. And uh, it's a fairly affordable program where a lot of people come together and we work through creating a plan for the new year at the end of December and early January. And, and this year in the Facebook group for this program, someone posted a question to me about what planner do you recommend? And I've always sort of thought of planners in the same category as, as calendars. And because I am pretty much an online calendar person, I've never really had a, a planning system that, that sort of cre works with that online system. So because I'm very to-do list driven uh, for the last several years since I started really using an online calendar, I'll make lists. I have legal pads and I make list after list after list on those legal pads. And it's a great way to, to sort of know what I need to do, but it hasn't always been the best way to plan. And I've tried different things for planning. And what came about in this Facebook group conversation was somebody shared the idea of having a separate planner where you actually, so you have a calendar where you keep track of all your appointments and everything, and then you have a planner where you actually plan out your week and your day. And that's a concept that I've taught before, but I don't think I've ever really had a system that I loved that worked really well for me with that. So this person recommended something called planner pads. This is my planner pads planner. Um, they make several different types, but this, this one is actually, it's a smaller version. So, you know, it's not three and eight and a half by 11 large. So it's more portable for me. What I love about this though, is it allows me to make a plan. I'm going to show this to you. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. Um, based on my week. So at the top here, you can actually have categories and those can change, you know, based on the week. And then here in the middle, I can actually plan out what I'm going to do every day. And then at the bottom, there is a calendar section if I want to actually translate my calendar over in here, which I do sometimes. But it allows me to really at the beginning of the week, think about what projects am I going to work on this week? Which areas do I want to really focus in my business and also my personal life? And then to go down to that second column and on Monday to write, this is what I'm going to do. These are the actions I'm going to take Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I actually have a really clear plan for moving through my week. And what I'm finding is I love it because it's very organized and it allows me to really make a solid plan and stick with it as I move through the week. So I was hoping that might support you. You don't have to use planner pads. If you want, you can. It's just plannerpads.com. But um, finding a system like this that allows you to create a plan for your week separate and apart from your calendar, I think is essential to, to business growth and success. So that's my tip for this week. I hope that uh, that resonates with you. If you have any questions, you can post those below. Uh, I am I love to, to connect with you in the social media world and you can find me all over and all those links are down below this video. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, all that. And would love to connect with you in any of those places. If you have any questions or would maybe like to um, suggest a topic for me to talk about in a future video blog post, you can post those below as well and I'd be happy to, uh, to think about that as I'm working on my video blog post for next month. Hope you're having a fabulous day and I will connect with you soon.